Welcome back to the channel folks, Miss Age here for the Akira character breakdowns. Now, if you don't know what this is, okay, Taika Waititi is set to direct and also write, I guess, an adaptation of Akira. Now, we had some leaks, oh this is a live action adaptation by the way, guys, uh, but we had some leaks not too long ago which seemed to indicate they were going with very Americanized characters, however, we now have a casting call for a Warner Brothers live-action adaptation of Akira. Now, this comes to us from Backstage.com, and it looks like Taika Waititi is absolutely staying true to the cultural source, I guess. The uh, basically Japanese and Asian actors, which is good, I think. I didn't really like the change that they've they put it in New Manhattan and all of that, you know, business. But this is better. And also from the casting calls themselves, it looks like they really are staying true to it, which is fantastic. So, let's go through them. They want a character called Jun, the lead male, 18 to 24, to play Japanese, English-speaking. Must be legal, 18 to 20s, to play 18. Sharp-eyed, sinewy, tough, handsome, cool. He is the leader of a street gang of teenagers and knows how to have a good time. Jun should not be too cool or too tough. He's a scrappy, ragtag kid who's not worried about anything. Your weird, natural, authentic self is encouraged. Lead. So again, this sounds like Canada, to be perfectly honest, which is what I've put on the screen here. Definitely, definitely sounds like uh, Canada. Now the next one is for Koichi, which I believe is probably going to be Tetsuo. It... Definitely sounds like that. So, again, this is for a male, 18 to 24, to play Japanese, English speaking, must be legal, 18 to 20s, to play 17. Constantly forced to punch up in order to survive. He's fearless to the point of recklessness. He is haunted by the loss of a loved one. Lead. So, again, it, it really does sound like Kaneda. Um, you know, the chap who obviously goes through all of the mutagen uh, turns into, you know, the giant, uh, very iconic looking monster. Now the next one is for Misa, or Misa, who I think is probably going to be playing Key, uh, and it's for a female, 18 to 30, to play Japanese, English speaking, must be legal, beautiful, intelligent, strong-willed, she is a member of an anti-government organisation trying to save her city. So again, it's absolutely going to be Key, who else can it be? Um, or, or an interpretation of Key, at the very least. Now, uh, the next one is for Rina, or Reina. And this sounds like it's going to be Kawari. I butchered that name for sure. Uh, but the casting call calls for 18 to 24 female to play Asian, English speaking, Japanese are plus. So they're not looking, surely speaking for Japanese there. Must be legal, 18 to 20s to play 17. Gentle, kind, cute, compassionate. She's a member of a biker gang and cares deeply for Koichi, supporting lead. So again, if we're thinking Koichi is going to be Kaneda, this sounds like Kawari, Kaori, I butchered that name, Soz. Now, next one is for Yakamatsu, which we think is probably going to be Yamagata. Uh, and the casting call says 18 to 24 male to play Asian, English speaking, Japanese a plus. 18 to 20s to play 18. Large, tough, loyal, short fused, a member of Jun's gang and a close friend supporting lead. We also have Yuki, which we think is probably going to be Kai or K, uh, and that is 18 to 24 male to play Asian English speaking. A small, clever, brainy, technical whiz is the youngest member of Jun's street gang supporting lead. Uh, now, this is where we get to the interesting stuff. So it definitely sounds like they are having, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, the little children in, in the movie, uh, the ones which have all the powers. So Jen... This is who the casting calls for. Which sounds like it's going to be Takashi, but the character is called Jen. Male, 10 to 12, to play Asian, English-speaking, Japanese a plus. A small, mysterious boy on an urgent mission. He is humble, shy, compassionate, and wise beyond his years, supporting lead. So definitely sounds like uh, the, you know, the, the small child Takashi. Now the next one is for Amy, who we think is probably going to be playing Kyoko, and the casting call says female, 10 to 12, uh, Asian, 
English speaking, Japanese a plus, a mysterious girl on an urgent mission, she is kind, gentle, compassionate and wise beyond her years, supporting lead. So it, it sounds like these are going to be Takashi and Kyoko, it could potentially be, um, you know, uh, well, a new incarnation of sorts. They don't have all of them there, so that's a bit of a shame, but that is the casting calls up until this point in time. Definitely, they are keeping in line with the you know, Japanese um, themes of the movie, even though it's being set in New Manhattan. I'd be really keen to see how they dress, uh, you know, this the sets for New Manhattan, whether they go with kind of a noir, uh, post-apocalyptic almost world. It'd be really intriguing to see, but I am really happy that this is moving ahead. Uh, this sounds like they're going to enter production very, very soon. We heard Production Weekly had released uh, some comments about this as well. So I think this will start moving moving ahead now. I'm really looking forward to this. What do you think, though? Does this bode well? Does this give you any more confidence in the project? Live Action Akira, I think, has the possibility of being absolutely incredible. Um, you know, the manga to one side, the anime is absolutely superb. So... I really am looking forward to this, and also Taika Waititi did say he was looking to adapt more of the manga rather than just solely the anime. So for those people that are die-hard manga fans, you should be happy with this as well. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you are new here, please do hit subscribe, give this video a like and a share, and also check out my Patreon page down below in the description box. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, I've been Mr. H, take care.